So if you can start by saying your name mm -hmm. and telling us where we are right now. Oh, okay. Uh, my name is Nobutaka Aozaki. People call me Nobu. Uh, here is Hunter MFA building on 41st Street. Yes. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I want to um, first hear you talk a little bit about mm -hmm. yourself as an artist, mm -hmm. how you came to mm -hmm. be an artist. Came to be an artist. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm from Japan. Uh, I used to work at a newspaper company, also like a printing company. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, during that time, I, I mean, I, I've been always making the drawing and the kind of drawing the cartoon. Mm -hmm. And then that kind of grew into the interest in the art. Mm -hmm. And then I've been looking at uh, artist in New York, so I decided to come to New York. And was that recently or how long ago was that? Uh, it's been six years. Six years? Yeah, first I went to a uh, school of visual arts mm -hmm. um, for two years. Mm -hmm. And then I took some credits of art history and uh, studio art. Mm -hmm. And then since I have, uh, uh, I graduated university in Japan. Uh, I have an education degree in Japan mm -hmm. and then I combined education degree and then credit I got in SVA mm -hmm. and then I applied to Hunter MFA. Okay. Yeah. And what kind of work were you making say when you were at SVA? When I was in SVA? Mm -hmm. Oh, S that was my first art education. Okay. So I focused on uh, painting and then drawing. I tried, try to be those, mm, yeah, the conventional art, yeah, traditional okay. art, yes. Mainly painting and drawing. Mainly painting and drawing, and then I took some video art. Okay. Yeah, and, and then I made some performative video mm -hmm. in in which I do something in front of the camera type of artwork. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. But now you're mm -hmm. graduating from the Hunter Hunter College, yes, the MFA, uh -huh. and there's still some drawing mm -hmm. elements mm -hmm. in your artwork. Mm -hmm. But there's also a lot of installation aspects, mm -hmm. and your practice seems to be very different mm -hmm. than it was when you were at SVA. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about how your work has changed from then to now? Yes, very much. Mm -hmm. But I also find the find they are related sometimes. How? I mean, even even the the what I was do doing in childhood mm -hmm. kind of comes back when I'm making the artwork mm -hmm. now. So I think everything is related. It's related. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, do, uh, it was a necessary pro process, mm -hmm. you know, to be here. No. To be here. Yeah. Yes. So can you talk a little bit about your process? How my work developed? Yes. Uh, that's a big question. Um, yeah, I, I've been looking at a lot of... Uh, um, since New York is a great city to look at the art, mm -hmm. I mean, and then I was, I'm looking at a lot of artwork here and then I try to read as much as possible mm -hmm. and then also in this MFA program I had a lot of discussion with the peer and then also the faculty mm -hmm. and then yeah all of these kind of sh shaped my artwork now <laughs> the sound is annoying right yeah. I don't know I think it's a uh, wind from oh. the window so maybe i can just put something okay Do you want, i think that would be good yeah so you were talking about uh -huh. your process how uh -huh. your work developed mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you want to pick up there uh the start over again well you were saying that you mm -hmm. that you've done a lot of reading mm -hmm. you're talking to yeah. your peers yeah and, your, and the faculty here at yeah the gr group cr critique right in this program right yeah and then the 
I met many interesting people mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. and then yeah, those shape my kind of practice, and then I'm here now. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's almost ha difficult to track. You know wha why I'm mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, I guess yeah, everything you know relate. So did, for instance, the Smiley Bag project? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did that develop while you were in Hunter? Uh, I actually made this work. Uh, the, the kind of like a initial. Uh, I mean the. <laughs> I, I I kind of apply with this work, but it wasn't like a participatory. It was just like a drawing project. Mm -hmm. There was no kind of element of you know participatory. Mm -hmm. I was just drawing the friend's face mm -hmm. on on the smiley back, mm -hmm. and then yeah, I had that piece before coming hunter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, why did you decide then? to mm -hmm. add in the participatory uh -huh. element. Participatory element. Um, since this building is located in Times Square, mm -hmm. uh, when you go to the subway station to go home, mm -hmm. there's a lot of portraitists in the Times Square, and then they kind of target it to the tourist. Mm -hmm. And then every day I was kind of passing by them, and then yeah, since I was drawing the portraits on the back, mm -hmm. maybe I can do this one on the street like them. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, actually, the, this specific site, you know, of the Hunter building, you know, helps me develop my work too. Yeah. What's the, what is the, when someone sits down mm -hmm. um, to have you draw them, mm -hmm. what's their reaction like? People get excited, right, before sitting in front of me. But once people sit in front of me, they kind of get, didn't know what to do, <laughs> don't know what to do, so the way I to look at. Mm. So some people show, show me a shyness. Mm. Also, some people kind of keep excited mm -hmm. to see the result mm -hmm. of my drawing. And then, yes, uh, since I don't take uh, money, so this portrait is, is for free. Mm -hmm. People sometimes gives me a water, or sometimes when I do this in the kind of cold season, mm -hmm. people gives me a jacket or a scarf. <laughs> so those, those exchange, I, I like it. You know, they want to give you something for you having. Yeah. So the time. yeah, sometimes people draw me. You know, in the town or oh something. Yeah. yeah. Do so you have portraits of uh -huh. of uh, yourself that people have drawn. I think I had, but not here. <laughs> I think I packed. Oh, you yeah, packed, uh, packed <laughs> already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you have uh, the st you, the Starbucks mm -hmm, mm -hmm. installation that's here. Mm -hmm. And is that something that developed mm -hmm. out of this kind of participatory action? Yes, definitely. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah, since I, I, um, while I was working on this project, you know, ex uh, working with the people, mm -hmm. yeah, I was more interested in, you know, work kind of made by other people or, you know, working with the people. Then, yeah, this is kind of developed out of this. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then the, this time people give me a kind of drawing to me. Yeah. So it's, there is a kind of reverse with this piece. It's the reverse. Yeah, it's, piece. yeah it's kind of the barista is giving me the cup. Mm -hmm. And then this, in this projects, I give them a portrait. So there is a little kind of a reverse. A reverse yeah, kind of yeah between these two work. Yeah, change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but still, I need the people to to make work. Right. Yeah. I'm interested in that relationship. Mm -hmm. um, this idea of collaboration. Uh huh. For you. Mm -hmm. um, because I think with the smiley bags, mm -hmm. the notion of collaboration is, mm -hmm. you know, more. It's more about you as the artist mm -hmm. kind of initiating mm -hmm. this 
relationship, mm -hmm. right? With mm -hmm. the person who sits down and allows you to draw them. Mm -hmm. But with the Starbucks project, it's something different mm -hmm. happening. Yeah, because people don't know his or her participation right. in my, you know, work. Mm -hmm. Also, they even though I consider the barista at Starbucks as a kind of collaborator, mm -hmm. they don't know <laughs> they are collaborating. Right. So, yeah, I think that's the, that's, that's the mm -hmm. difference. Yeah. But uh, the feeling of kind of collaboration is, exists in me, you mm -hmm. know, certainly. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I want to kind of broaden the kind of notion of the collaboration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And is this collaboration, you think? You also, yeah, uh, uh, that's a question in my work. Oh, I mean, the, the, like, because uh, they draw the sign, uh -huh. right, of in the artwork. Right. Are they a kind of a maker of artwork? Mm -hmm. Or even they don't know they are participating in the production of this work. Mm -hmm. Are they a collaborator? I, I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of interesting and question. You, you leave that question kind of out there to be answered and yeah or maybe not to be answered at all but just something mm -hmm. to to ponder you know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but that leads me to thinking about the role of the artist mm -hmm. you know I, mm -hmm. I wonder what what you think about your role as an artist how do you how do you see yourself role of artist yeah how do you see yourself as an artist hmm I think I hope kind of uh, interrupt mm -hmm. kind of the, the, the mundane kind of routine of every day, every day of the people and then kind of like uh, suggest kind of a, I don't know, hidden kind of alternative meaning kind of hidden in the boring, same repetitive every day. Mm -hmm. But if you kind of pay close attention, you can find a kind of a alternative meaning mm -hmm. or function. Mm -hmm. So in, in, in my work, kind of, I'm, I guess, yeah, suggesting that, you know. Yeah, I consider sometimes my work as a sample. As a sample? Sample, yeah. So, because you can draw, you know, somebody's face on the Put a uh, smiley back. This is very mundane, and then you can find everywhere. The, the Starbucks in New York is everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, since yeah, you can, can collect that, your I name too. That. You cannot do that. <laughs> 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 yeah, and then yeah, I, I'm. I, I I I hope you know as many people as possible enjoy the work and then as many people as uh, uh, um, delay to them you know I mean so I've been trying to kind of minimize the, s the skill mm -hmm. in the production of art mm -hmm. so they can act people actually can make their kind of o own version mm -hmm. or something yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so you're kind of like a almost an invisible artist mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to a certain degree. Yes. Especially when you're out in the public. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you open yourself up to, you know, having to pay attention to, mm -hmm. as you were saying, the details of, mm -hmm. of every day, mm -hmm. everyday life, right? Mm -hmm. And you're also starting to work on, the, on you were talking earlier about your thesis project. Mm -hmm where you're mapping mm -hmm. Manhattan. Mm -hmm. Can you speak about that in relation to mm -hmm. the, this idea of the participatory mm -hmm. and also what I'm thinking about as, the, as an invisible artist, you being this kind of invisible artist? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So uh, you want to know more about why I make myself invisible? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I'm, I want to know more about why you make yourself invisible in relation to the type of work that you're making. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and you can talk about the 
the mapping of Manhattan in particular. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because uh, I, I want kind of achieve, um, achieve something in, in kind of very ordinary level. You know, I mean, people even notice, you know, you know, making of art is happening. You know, people don't notice, you know, people don't know I'm making artwork mm-hmm. when I'm making art. So I think that way people come not participate naturally, you know, it's more it participate naturally because if you set up some stage for participation, I, I don't feel kind of natural, I don't feel natural, mm. I don't feel like participating to so there is a kind of practical um, uh, uh, yeah I'm making myself invisible because it's kind of practical mm-hmm. also making um, making work more kind of ordinary level mm-hmm. so I don't know it does make sense no it does yeah. make sense <laughs> If, if work is if the artwork is is ordinary, uh-huh. right, then where's the value mm-hmm. in it for you? How do you mm-hmm. how do you evaluate? Evaluate? Yeah. How do you apply value to uh-huh. something that's ordinary? Mm. Yeah, I'm interested in how the value is kind of create created or value is changed mm-hmm. because people thro- easily throw out these uh, plastic bag yeah. once it, you finish carrying the stuff to the home or something and then but if I draw their portrait on, on it mm-hmm. they keep it <laughs> yeah and then also I have uh, another project I've been buying the kind of one one kind of one kind good uh, and then uh, I mean uh, I've been ca- uh, I've been buying one can mm-hmm. multiple times and the multiple supermarket mm-hmm. so I've been buying the one kind of corn at the 50 uh, 57 supermarket mm-hmm. so that this can I've been paying money I've been paying more than sixty dollar to the one can. For the same can of corn. Same can of corn, mm-hmm. but it's what contain is the same. The same with the ninety nine cent can. Mm-hmm. So what's the difference? You know, what what is the value? Mm-hmm. You know, those those are question. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And with the Starbucks cups too, mm-hmm. you know, these are things that ordinarily would be mm-hmm. tossed out. Yeah, people throw out this, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, I feel uh, to me there is a kind of value. E- ca- it's like a, each cup is like a record of the interaction between me and the barista. Mm-hmm. So it's like a kind of photo album, you know, each, yeah, photo album, you know, each time I feel challenging, you know, mm-hmm. if I get the, my right name. Mm-hmm whenever they ask me, me a na- my name. Mm-hmm. So it's like a kind of like, um, yeah, to me there's a value. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder also if there's some value in the collecting mm-hmm. of the thing. Mm-hmm. You know? So mm-hmm. you collect, you have all these paper bags or plastic bags and you collect, mm-hmm. you know, all the cups and you collect all the maps, the little maps that people draw, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. thinking about the value of it through the collection of mm-hmm. collecting something on a big scale, mm-hmm. you know, so you take this minimal mm-hmm. object, this ordinal object, mm-hmm. and then it turns into something monumental mm-hmm. in a way. Mm-hmm. Do you, how, how do you see the, the collecting aspect? Do you see yourself as a collector? Uh, yeah, I see a little bit. Yeah. I am a collector. But um, 
I like to make art kind of like uh, writing the diary. Mm -hmm. So I want to, you know, it's like every day, you know, like buying the coffee mm -hmm. or the buying grocery in the grocery store, and then asking the direction to the people. I, I'm thinking how I can make an intersection between kind of art and just everyday life mm -hmm. without kind of doing, um, without too many kind of modification. Right. So the collection is a kind of one way of, uh, one way of doing that, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to ask you also about mm -hmm. where the art is located mm -hmm. in in your practice. Uh -huh. You know, we talked a little bit earlier about because it's so process oriented. You know, mm -hmm. it's such it's everything is a process. You know, mm -hmm. even uh, each installation that you set up is the result mm -hmm. of something, a process that happened before. Mm -hmm. You know, it took mm. a while. It's like uh, it almost endurance. In, endurance mm -hmm. works. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about if mm -hmm. if you find mm -hmm. where where you find the, where does the art start mm -hmm. and where does it end for you? Is, when, there, is uh -huh. there is there a final? Is there a finality? A final piece? Do you know when it stops, or do you know when you have your art object? Uh -huh. No. Uh, usually, I don't know how, where, where is the finishing point of the artwork. Mm -hmm. So that's something ma makes me interested in, keep me interested in my work, mm -hmm. you know. So I know there, there gotta be some <laughs> end. <laughs> uh, so I, how yeah. Do you, how do you decide? How do you decide when it's done? Uh, maybe if I don't get any, if I don't cannot think of any development mm -hmm. or physically, you know, it, I mean, that too much mm -hmm. <laughs> or <laughs> yeah, I don't know that uh, kind of question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think like, for instance, for the smiley bag? Mm -hmm project mm -hmm. is the sitting down with the other person mm -hmm. is that also a part of the artwork sitting with people yeah or is the artwork just the drawing oh it only exists in the genre drawing is more like kind of of course yeah the the the, the people's participate patient mm -hmm. is I think there's more importance than kind of actual drawing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, the kind of interaction with the people has a, in a way there's a kind of uh, the healing for me, you know, like, s since I come from a other country mm -hmm. and then, yeah, in, uh, kind of like a communicating with people makes me feel I'm part of the society here mm -hmm. or something. So in a way, it's a kind of healing. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah, you cannot predict uh, what people, how people behave, how people think. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a kind of a way to bring the kind of chance element in, in the work. So I, I yeah, I'm, I get excited, you know, so those kind of uncertain, to have uncertain kind of thing. The uncertain. Uncertainty in my work. Yeah. yeah. You mentioned communication. Uh -huh. Could you talk a little bit more about that? How, mm -hmm. you're, how you're communicating? How I communicate? <laughs> well, how you're communicating through your, your uh -huh. work. Um, so in, in this particular piece, um, I set this uh, structure on the street mm -hmm. and then whoever gets interest 
what I'm in what I'm doing. Uh, uh, they ask what I'm doing, you know, and then I, I explain what I'm doing, and then people, if they like, people sit in front of me, and then they do a model for me, and then during the drawing, you know, usually like a f five or ten minutes, mm -hmm. and uh, we talked about where are you from, and then, <laughs> and then, yeah, those conversation is kind of interesting. And how do you decide mm -hmm. which form you're going to communicate, right? Because that's one particular form of communication. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you, and then the Starbucks cups is another form mm -hmm. of communication. Mm -hmm. And then the maps are a different form. How, mm -hmm. do, you, how do you decide mm -hmm. which forms of communication mm -hmm. you're going to use? Uh, usually kind of a small everyday kind of interaction, mm -hmm. you know, buying, buying coffee mm -hmm. and then they ask you a name. Mm -hmm. These very small interaction, I always think how I can make those kind of as a medium mm -hmm. to produce the work. Mm -hmm. So that you, in New York, it's very ordinary mm -hmm. to, to get asked the direction. So I've been thinking about, yeah, how I can make this into the kind of uh, artwork. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I I don't I don't choose, I guess. It just it's already out there. Out out know? there, yeah. I don't make from kind of scratch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I tend to use the kind of format people already familiar with. Mm. Yeah, so I try to make kind of familiar into the unfamiliar or strange. Mm -hmm. That way, I feel more excited. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah. I'm also really interested in the idea of generosity. Mm -hmm. You know, so through the interaction that mm -hmm. happen with people, mm -hmm. um, I really want to think about how generosity functions. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about this idea mm -hmm. in terms of the work that you do? How were you generous as an artist, and then how uh -huh. is the participant generous uh -huh. to you? I more feel the generosity of the participant. Mm -hmm. I'm always thankful for that. You know, the pe when people draw me a map, when people give me a misspelling cup, <laughs> and then when people take time to sit to participate in my work. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so I, my work exists kind of based on the generosity of the people, yeah, I think. Yeah, someone giving. Yeah. Giving to you. Yeah. And then, mm -hmm. So a part of this project is also about defining or attempting mm -hmm. to create some sort of a, a definition Mm -hmm. for the idea of social engagement, mm -hmm. socially engaged art practice is mm -hmm. what we're calling it. Mm -hmm. Have you, do you think about this idea? Have you heard yeah. this before? Yeah. And would you think that, would you consider yourself to be a socially engaged artist? And if so, mm -hmm. how? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm engaged in, yeah, socially engaged mm -hmm. because I, I learn many different things from the people, mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's interesting how to define that socially engaged, but... Uh, because what do you think about when you hear... Mm -hmm that term, the phrase, social engagement? I think the art 
uh, the uh, social socially engaged work mm -hmm. is the art kind of happening in the kind of outside of the the gallery or museum uh, uh, kind of outside of the um, traditional art setting mm -hmm. I think that's first thing I imagine mm -hmm. then in terms of, in terms of that I think my work I can relate it to the town mm -hmm. you know so yeah because I make work kind of outside the outside the gallery outside the studio mm -hmm. So th yeah, that's the part I think I feel you, related. You also do both. You have, mm -hmm. you know, the element of your practice that takes you outside, mm -hmm. right? And then you have a studio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm interested to know how these two elements come together for you. Mm -hmm. I think a studio is is for kind of finishing up. Mm. And then the and then the the street is more kind of a process, mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, in the studio, you know what you what you're gonna do in the studio. Mm -hmm. But on the street is more kind of a lot of wandering, right. yeah. So that's how I use kind of studio and the uh, outside. Do you think of this the street as your studio at all? Yeah, I think yeah. think of that. Yeah, almost as like an extension mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of your studio practice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you bring them inside, mm -hmm. bring things inside, mm -hmm. and finish them. Yeah, uh, that's kind of close to what yeah. I, what I feel. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. That's good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Sure. Do you have something else you want to say? <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Thank